If I fall on my face, pick me up out of the mud and wash me clean. Forever, ever, ever, I will sing your praise. Even on the, even on the darkest days, the greatest light is glowing bright on Calvary. Oh, we can all, we can all rise up and shine. Cause you paid it all.
was the king of me.
come even closer. Fill us, Fill us more, more with, with your love. love. Yay! Hi everybody, thank you for joining us again for Light today. How are you? How's your week been? What have you been up to? What's nursery and school been like? Have you done anything different? Have you made anything? Have you played any new games? I hope you've been able to spend some time with your family and friends. This weekend is a bank holiday. Have you got any plans for tomorrow? It's great, isn't it, that we can spend some time together and we can do and experience new things. Today in Lights, we're going to carry on learning about what happened to Jesus after he rose from the dead. So stay tuned to find out what we're going to do today. Before we start singing some songs, we're going to say some words together, a little bit like a declaration. So I'm going to say it first and then you copy me. OK. The words will appear on the screen too. So here's the first one. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we worship you. Let's do that again. Are you ready? Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we worship you. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. So let's get started by singing some songs to praise and worship Jesus. You're calling me over You're pulling me close With love you surround me You give me hope Yeah, yeah, yeah You're taking me deeper You're making me whole With grace you
When someone you love dies, you hurt deep inside. You miss them so much, you just want to cry. The day Jesus died, his friends all hurt too. Peter and John and the rest of the crew were gutted and just didn't know what to do with the sighing, goodbyeing and crying. Imagine that someone who died just appeared. Someone you loved. Would it feel good or weird? So when Jesus appeared in a room that was locked, his disciples were startled and frightened and shocked. It's a ghost, they all whispered, and every knee knocked, sighing, goodbyeing and crying. There's no need to fear, Jesus said with a smile. It's me and I'm back. Well, at least for a while. Touch my hands and my feet. You can't touch a ghost. And ghosts never eat, but I'd like a fish roast. My new body will last forever, no boast. No more sighing, goodbyeing and crying. But Thomas was missing and didn't believe that Jesus had been, he still wanted to grieve. Unless I can see for myself, Thomas said, his hands and his side, the places he bled, I won't be convinced that he rose from the dead. I'll be sighing, goodbying and crying. 
So Jesus returned to his friends the next week. Thomas, he said, here's the proof that you seek. Touch the holes in my hands and the wounds in my side. See and believe that your friends have not lied. My Lord and my God, Thomas said, you're alive! And stopped sighing, goodbyeing and crying. For the next 40 days, Jesus met with his friends. 500 or so saw him living again. Then he led them all up to a hilltop on high and said, let the world know that I'm alive. Then up through the clouds he rose into the sky. No more sighing, goodbyeing and crying. We've been thinking again today, haven't we, about the life that Jesus had after he rose from the dead. So after that Easter Sunday, until he was taken up to heaven again and the different ways that he appeared to his followers, to the disciples. Today, we've been thinking a little bit about the time that he appeared to them when they were sat having dinner together. They were sat in a room, a locked room together, and Jesus came in. And I'm sure that they were a little bit scared, don't you? Or a little bit kind of confused as to what was going on. And Jesus responded by saying, peace be with you. That's amazing, isn't it? But what actually does peace mean? Peace is just a settling in your heart, a way of knowing that you are truly loved. It's knowing that God is in control of every situation and that he works for the good of those who love him. It means that you can trust God in all and everything. And it means that the things that God promised in the Bible still stand true today. And the way that God speaks to you, the things that he might promise to you in your heart, you can trust that they will be fulfilled, that God will follow them through. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? So I thought today our craft could look a little bit around that and it could remind us that the peace of God is with us all the time. Do you remember when we looked at the armour of God all those many months ago? It feels like forever ago, doesn't it? Um, and one of them looked at peace too, didn't it? So I thought it'd be good to remind ourselves as we go through our weeks that God's peace is with us in everything that we do. So some ideas of things to do. The dove is quite often representative of peace in the Bible. OK, so here we've made a pretty snazzy um, dove in our house that you could then hang from the ceiling um, or you could just use it to, to fly around as well. So here we've cut out the dove shape. We've cut a little slit in the middle and then we've gone round and cut out two hands and then just made a little bit, if I take one out here, you can see a little bit of a straight bit at the end. And then you can just poke that through a little slit in the middle of the dove. OK, so that's our first idea. All right. Another idea, a little bit simpler, is to draw around your hand and to make a peace dove. So we've just given them a little eye and a little nose. You could also, um, if there's anybody that's on your heart from either our church or friend or a family member who you feel um, might benefit from being reminded about God's peace at the moment, you could send this in the post to them. I bet they would love that. They would love to get some posts from you, um, reminding them that God's peace is with them. And then another one we've done here is a, a lovely little rainbow. Um, where we've done lots of different coloured card all together and then just a little bit at the bottom, a cloud reminding us that God keeps his promise. Yeah, so again, we can be peaceful because we know 
that we can trust in God. You might have some different ideas of your own. So go away, be creative, find some things that you've got around the house and just have fun and enjoy. And um, yeah, remember this week that God's peace is with you. Take care. See you later. Bye. Send me your light and your faithful care. Let them lead me. May your unfailing love be my comfort. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Let the light of your face shine upon us. 
I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of his righteousness. He will yet fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy. Father God, thank you for being with us again in light today. Thank you for the, your words in the story that we heard. Thank you for appearing to the disciples in that room and showing them your wounds on your hands and your feet. Thank you for taking the time to talk to Thomas again, to show him just exactly what you've done and that you are alive today. Lord God, we pray for your peace. We pray for your peace in each of our families. We pray for your peace for each of our friends. Lord God, help us to trust in you, that you are always with us and beside us. Help us to listen to what you have to say. Amen. Thanks for joining us for Light today. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye.